Lion. My daddy is a proper Sikh. His turban is so elegant. His beard is always neatly tied. I really think he's dashing. He wears his suits with such a plum. I think he's more handsome than any other daddy. I love it when he's chanting prayers. So rhythmic and mysterious. He loves us more than life itself. Sometimes though, I'm perplexed. His mood swings right from day to night, sweeps away our peacefulness in just a millisecond. I sense an ancient hurt inside, which I'm too young to realise is grief and rage for all that he has suffered. He never speaks about his trials, though one day I'll understand the wounds done to his soul and land. He had to leave his childhood home, his early life and all he'd known to flee from those he'd long considered brothers. For men in charge of India's fate made choices which turned love to hate. Untold millions fled their homes, rivers flowed with blood and bones, roads were paved with bodies. Daily horror trains arrived, no one on them left alive whilst wells turned into coffins. Though Dad survived and life is good, it's not that long since India keened her dying song. Divided, wounded, never healed, Daddy never will be.